I'm not quite sure I'm satisfied with this arrangement. I'm not quite sure I'm satisfied with this arrangement. Elsa Speak is an app that helps English language learners improve their pronunciation by using AI technology. It also helps language learners improve their vocabulary and their speaking skills by practicing the modules in the app. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I give my opinion on whether Elsa is right for you. The first pro of the app is that the AI technology is actually quite good. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how it works. I'd like to think about this for a little while. I'd like to think about this for a little while. There you go. Another pro to Elsa is that it has almost like a Youglish plugin to its dictionary. So after you search a word, you can see other people saying the word in phrases and conversations through YouTube videos. Exaggerate, but this idea that the... This is extremely useful if you've just found a word and you don't quite understand how it works in a sentence. This way you can watch native speakers saying the word in casual conversation and get a better idea of the context and where to use it. Another great thing that I like about Elsa is you can create study sets of words and phrases that you haven't quite mastered yet. I'll throw a video up on screen, but basically after you search a word or phrase in the dictionary, you can add it to a pre-made study set that you've already made and practice it at a later time. You can also look up pre-made sets that other members have already made and download them and use them for yourself. The final thing I like about Elsa is the price point. A lifetime membership is only about $75 USD. This may seem like a lot to some people, but you gotta put into the context of how much the average person pays for an English teacher. An English tutor might run you somewhere between $12 and $20 USD. So after five to seven hours of teaching with a one-on-one -on -one tutor, you'd be getting the same value from Elsa, except that you have Elsa for a lifetime. Obviously, Elsa isn't a perfect replacement for a tutor, but there are many things that you can do with Elsa that I think are cost-effective compared to getting a teacher to help. One downside to Elsa that I don't like is that when you're doing an exercise, you can skip words and it will still tell you that you've passed the exercise. I'll throw an example up on screen. I want this be good your business. So as you can see, it passed me. This is why I recommend when you're using Elsa Speak to put it on the advanced setting instead of the regular setting. This way, it'll actually tell you when you miss a word. Here's an example. In best interest. So as you can see, it's completely in red and it's basically telling me that I missed the entire word. A second con to Elsa Speak is that when you're doing a speaking exercise with a lengthy dialogue, the word-to-word -word translation to your native language that you have set is probably going to be incorrect. As you can see in this exercise on screen where it says, that's great, it translated in Mandarin to na shi da, which basically means that is big, not that is great. This would probably translate a lot better in Chinese to tai hao le. The final gripe that I kind of have with Elsa is that it's difficult to get 100% even as a native speaker. Now this is likely because Elsa's implemented certain vowel sounds or phonemes for particular words. That kind of ignores the fact in different regions of the world, different native speakers are going to use different phonemes for each word. So it doesn't really make sense that they can't get 100% on the program. Again, this is something that would be really hard to implement for Elsa, and it would be virtually impossible to map every single native speaker and put in their individual phonemes for each word. So if you have some spare change, I would recommend giving Elsa a try. You don't have to get a lifetime membership. They do have a monthly membership, I believe, as well as a yearly membership. If I was going to use Elsa to improve my English, I would focus a lot on using the dictionary to look up words and then putting those words into individualized study sets. However, I would suggest the first thing you do when you get Elsa is to take their 10 minute assessment and Elsa will give you recommendations based on that assessment and where you should start. If you wanna check Elsa out, I have a couple links in the description. One is to try Elsa free for a week and the other one is to get 85% off a lifetime subscription or 40% off a one year subscription. If you have any other questions about Elsa, leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to answer them. With that said, it's been Grayson from Esl Helper. I'll see you guys next time.